Adams, I live in the town of Carolina. And when this issue first came up, it came up years ago, and we started looking. And I did not trust what I was hearing, so I went and researched it myself. I've been to Pennsylvania many times. I've been on drilling rigs. I've looked at it honestly and openly. I think this is wrong. Or before me, I'm frankly, I'm embarrassed to say that I come from uh, Carolina and Tompkins County. Here we are, we live in the shadows of two institutions of higher education whose sole purpose is to, edu to educate, to find solutions to problems, and to move forward. And yet, here we are, we have a town board who is chosen to select the facts that they look at and live in fear. I choose not to live in fear. Before me, I have a town board that honestly I believe are hypocrites. This room and that parking lot is filled with cars. We are all energy users. We can't just pick and choose what we do. It is here. It is something that can be done responsibly. And interestingly enough, uh, there's an article here um, from the Associated Press, and it's talking about the possibility of putting wind farms on offshore in Lake Erie. And I'll read you a couple of sentences that strikes home to me. Offshore wind projects have been proposed elsewhere in the region, including Michigan and New York State, stirring fierce debate. Critics say they would ruin spectacular vistas, lower shoreline property values, and harm birds and fish. This is the same argument that many of these people here are using. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's all there. I also see a town board that's afraid of change. This country was built on change. If it weren't, we'd still be walking, riding horses, and heating with wood. Change is inevitable. It comes. It can be done responsibly. And the last thing I would say is, you are elected officials. You're supposed to lead. Well, lead, but don't just pick the facts that you want to pass. Pick. Choose them all. And make sure that your decision is the right one for all. People like myself don't come out. We don't feel like we have to come and fight for our inalienable landowner rights. I asked you, if you go ahead with this ill-advised ban, drilling's not going to come here for some time. And I don't know how you know more than what the officials for the DEC know. They've been looking at this. There's a 4,000-page document coming. It is premature without having all of this data before you to inexclusively shut it out. This is improper and wrong. And I ask you to be leaders for all of us, not just the squeaky wheels.